Hello and welcome. You are zooming in to SummerSlam 5 because IPL 5 is right here. I'm Anand Narasimhan. With me is Tina Sharma. And in our studios, the usual suspects, Arun Lal and Atul Vasan. Effervescent, flamboyant as ever. And we're looking forward to a very good season. Gentlemen, we'll come to you, but we also have a very other special guest, Tina. Absolutely. We have such a fantastic expert panel for you here on Times Now. Let's go across to uh, Ravi Shastri, who's joining us from Chennai, former India captain and the voice of Indian cricket. Also joining us from Perth uh, for this show is Tom Moody, a twice World Cup winner and, of course, former coach of the Kings Eleven Punjab. So, so Shaz, Shaz in his elements, Tom Moody there uh, with his inputs because he's also former Kings Eleven Punjab coach. So, he'll give us the uh, inside dope of what happens in the dressing room in key situations. But first up, let's just set it up. Season 5, these are the top four teams. It's high five for the Indian Premier League. The Billion Dollar League will be bigger and better this time and the broadcasters are pulling out all stops to grab the eyeballs. The players may not have had much rest but are looking forward to the mega event. As far as defending champions is concerned, you know, uh, we never take pressure in the sense, you know, uh, we take pride in our performance. You know, we uh, don't always uh, weigh it as quantity as this is what we need to do. You know, we take care of the small things. You know, we take pride in fulfilling our roles and responsibilities. But Team Pune have got a shot in the arm with Michael Clark and Tami Mikbal joining the ranks. However, Pune's neighbour Mumbai are looking the strongest team this season with the likes of Gibbs, Johnson and Richard Levy joining the team. This is also a big responsibility leading Mumbai Indians and uh, I hope I'll do a good job with the support of my teammates and uh, just looking forward for this uh, whole two, next two months and uh, hopefully we'll play yep. some good cricket and uh, we'll come out strong. Delhi may have suffered a blow with Kiwi captain Ross Taylor getting injured but Sehwag is confident of a good showing. Defending champions Chennai Super Kings always remain favourites, boasting of a formidable lineup. It's been, I think, uh, if you look at a lot of players, they, they are changing their team and, and we have Ravin Jadija this time. Hopefully, he will do well as a, as a, as a player. I think uh, we, we have done really well in IPL. But I think this team, a lot of lot of owner players and youngsters, they are changing their side and, and this IPL going to be very exciting for us. No effort is being spared to make kick off the tournament with a bang. The opening ceremony will be hosted by the Big B along with performances from Bollywood and international stars. It's lights, camera and cricket. It's time for SummerSlam 5. Well, that's it. So, we've set up the teams, Tina. And uh, it all go, boils down to the opener, isn't it? The challengers, the strong contenders, they won the Champions League. But I'm sure they would want to add uh, the IPL... Uh, title also to their kitty, Mumbai Indians versus the Chennai Super Kings. Who's your pick? Well, a tough one, really. Uh, Chennai has, you know, been at the top of the IPL throughout. They've got an, un, you know, unchanged side. Mumbai, to me, suddenly looks, uh, you know, a lot more balanced, uh, probably hungrier. And also, again, with a lot of confidence, having won the Champions League. So, I, I'll go to, I'm going to go with Mumbai. Sure. Well, well, I, I reckon it's, it's going to be Super King again because, you know, the, in such format, once a team gets going, they've got uh, some players who actually excel in their own backyard. They've got players uh, formatted for uh, for Chepok with the bounce like Jagati and Ashwin and all. So, I think more more often than not, when they win, start uh, keep on winning at home, uh, they take that advantage and one uh, off games, they win, win, when they when they travel and, and they've got Mercular captain like Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Uh, but it's very hard to predict a winner in this game because anything can happen. We have seen uh, teams which have been uh, rated bottom winning the uh, IPL, so very hard to say. Shaz, are you going to play it safe as well or are you going to pick a winner for us? Of course, the blockbuster game starting off the IPL 5, it's the two biggest teams in the tournament. We'd like to know who you pick for the first game. 
you know, I would pick Chennai. Uh, simple reason, they've got uh, variety in their attack. They've got a lot of slow bowlers that can uh, use these conditions. It's very hot and humid here in Chennai. You know, even in the evening, uh, the players will uh, feel the temperatures. And uh, having said that, I think one positive thing for Mumbai Indians is uh, that Sachin Tendulkar is not leading. And I say this because he will play freely. You know, the pressure is off his back. He can come out there and play his natural game and uh, leave all the headache to Harbhajan Singh and uh, some of the others there. But, but, but you still haven't made your call. Shaz, you have to pick Mumbai or Chennai. I picked Chennai. What are you hearing, Anand? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so no, it's just reconfirmation because at the end he tilted somewhere uh, into uh, towards Mumbai, saying that uh, Sachin not captaining the side is going to work to Mumbai's advantage. Tom, are you sitting on the fence on this one, or are you very clear about the winner? Oh, I'm not going to sit on the fence. I'm thinking Mumbai Indians. I just, I just like the balance of their side. They've got match winners throughout their side. They're in. They've got players that are coming into the tournament in form. Uh, we all know how dangerous that uh, Chennai are, particularly at home. But uh, I fancy Mumbai here. So there you go. We've got our first split vote in the first chat of SummerSlam 5 itself. Because two of our panelists are swinging Mumbai's way. Two of our panelists are swinging Chennai's way. Uh, would one want to convince the other, the other way around? No, you cannot in this format, Anand, because you know even Rajasthan Royals playing Super Kings, you would always give some chances to even a poor team. You know, when I say poor, it's, it's the teams which have not got their combination right. Most of the players are again getting together from various uh, uh, kind of backgrounds and varied pitch pitches they have been playing, and suddenly they are, they have to hit the ground running. It's not that easy as it as it sounds. You know, they'll take three four games, but teams which have been uh, historically winning more games will find it more easier because they've got that confidence of, of wins behind their back. So I think uh, looking at that uh, backdrop. Uh, in this game, uh, it, it's an even Steven 60-40 to Super Kings for me. Uh, my mind goes back to uh, you know Sachin quitting his captaincy and Shaz raised, the, raised that point. Why do you think it's going to work in Mumbai's favour so much? Because won't there be pressure on Harbhajan, Shaz? Not at all. I think he uh, relished that challenge uh, during the Champions League, as you found out. And, uh, you know, he rose to the occasion. Welcome back. You're watching the best IPL coverage with the best experts in the country right here on Times Now. And we are talking about whether or not this particular season of the IPL is going to start the fireworks all over again. Fireworks, uh, we're talking about fireworks. We discussed Harbhajan and uh, Dhoni. Let's talk about another contest that we'll have to wait till sometime in May. 5th of May, the first, 19th of May, the other. That's when Pune takes on KKR. No, Shaz, 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 I see you, you get the drift, don't you? I get the drift. Uh, I do believe uh, that's the team to watch out for. If there are two teams uh, to watch out for in this year's IPL, it is uh, KKR, Kolkata Knight Riders and uh, the Delhi Daredevils. You know, the usual suspects will still be there. We reckon will make it to the uh, semi-final, who will have a good IPL. The Mumbai Indians, Chennai Super Kings, Royal Challengers from Bangalore. There's Virat Kohli there, watch out for him. But when it comes to teams, I think these are the two teams uh, that you've got to watch out for. Of course, when Pune Warriors play uh, <laughs> Kolkata Knight Riders, there'll be some fireworks. Because uh, the da Dada is back as captain and uh, we should have some fun. Yeah, we're going to get our resident Kolkatan's uh, view on that as well in just a minute. But uh, first, Tom, what do you make of this? You know, it's all being hyped up and built up as uh, team loyalties and people supporting their own cities. But this one is a tricky one, isn't it? I mean, you know, it's going to be sort of Ganguly for the rest of the series now versus Kolkata. How do you see that working out? Well, it could, uh, it could end up a real blockbuster. We all know how passionate... Uh, the Kolkata fans are for, uh, for Saurav Ganguly and, uh, you know, the, the big hoo-ha about uh, him being left out of the auction. Now, knowing Saurav Ganguly and uh, spending some time with him recently uh, during the test series down here in Australia, very interesting how determined and focused he is to perform. And uh, he's still clearly got that fire in the belly uh, and wanting to perform. And he's, he's, he's in a perfect position because Pune had a, a horrible start to their IPL campaign last year, coming rock bottom 
and no one was close to them at the bottom of the table. So he's got a lot to work with and I think he'll do a good job because he's a good motivator. You know, he's not going to be the explosive opening batsman that we, we are used to seeing him in the, in the, in the yesteryear, but he, he will play a role and the team will play around him. So uh, it really will be a, a grudge match. And I, I, I do believe that uh, KKR as well are going to be a real dark horse in this, uh, this whole tournament. I think they're shaping up very well. Uh, they're, they're getting into some good winning habits. They've got uh, McCullum back on their playing list and he's a dynamic player. We all know what he's capable of doing. So, you know, we're going to be in for some great combinations and that particular combination, uh, Pune versus uh, KKR is certainly going to be a big one. KKR has got Shakib in the mix. Uh, sorry, uh, beg your pardon. Pune has got Shakib in the mix. But the fact is, uh, you're talking about uh, Dada and Kolkata. He talked about the fire still there. It's, it's Dada has been stoking that fire. There is a grudge there somewhere. But what do you see happening at Eden Gardens? Listen, there's a certain <laughs> grudge. I mean, um, let's not, you know, play around it. He would love to, you know, pummel KKR. And that's going to be a big game. There, there are lots of fans who are very passionate about Saurav. But, you know, when it comes down to the actual crunch, I think uh, the fans will support KKR. They wouldn't mind Saurav doing well, ideally. Mm -hmm. Saurav getting runs and KKR winning. So that would be an ideal combination. But rest assured that the, the support is going to be for KKR. You see KKR flags being waved and everybody going da 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 da. You know? Anand, you know, we all know there's been a history. Akrimani was there and the way uh, things happen. And even yesterday, Shah Rukh Khan said that uh, the team has been a, a much more cohesive unit in the last two seasons. <laughs> so that's apparently a dig at it. And we know what, what the things were going around with the Saurav Ganguly trying to play and become captain and all that thing. And now it's on to Pune Warriors. So, but I think I saw, uh, you know, just to uh, take the hat off to Saurav Ganguly, he's uh, left international cricket. He's still playing. I saw him play in a non descript ground in Palam when 10 people were watching leading uh, Kolkata to the one day trophy championship. So the guy is so intent on doing and this is his swan song. He knows that this is his last season. He, I don't see, see him playing more than one season. And this is where don't he would want... Yeah, well, <laughs> you never know. I think, I think he'll struggle. You know, I saw him field a couple of balls on the mid on. So I think he'll struggle. But, uh, but I hope he brings the best. Um, to the party for Pune Warriors in this season and I would love to see him do well, especially against KKR. Well, I love these needle matches, you know. Uh, and, you know, when if, if Saurav Ganguly goes into Eden Gardens and does well and Pune Warriors win that game, uh, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Shah Saurav Ganguly always had a problem with coaches, didn't like to play under anybody else. So, uh, Pune have made sure there is no coach. He is the coach and mentor. He is the one who is going to uh, captain and mentor too. Uh, so, he is going to lead. So, he's got a point to prove at, uh, on, on various fronts this time. The fact that he's playing at his age, he obviously wants to uh, perform, you know, and he's keen as mustard, you know, uh, still, he's ambitious, he wants to get the Pune Warriors back on track, but I'll be having the mic in my hand every time <laughs> the Dada is chasing the ball. The ball is going to come to the Dada many times in this year's IPL and it'll be great to watch. What do you think is going to happen, Shaz? What are you, what are you expecting and what will you be saying when the mic is in your hand and Dada is chasing the ball? It's Dada in pursuit. <laughs> Let's watch. And do you think, well, we, you, are we going to see another shirt-waving gesture at Eden Gardens if <laughs> Pune, Pune beat Kolkata? It's going to be a tough match. I think Calcutta, like I mentioned, Kolkata are a very, very good side. Forget this match. I'm saying they could surprise a few teams in this competition, you know, who think that they are favourites. Because they've got, a, they've got a good captain in Gautam Gambhir. They've got... Uh, a lot of match winners in their side. They've got depth. McCullum coming there back at the top will make a difference. I still feel Gambhir should open the batting, not come any lower than that because, uh, you know, he's a class player, you know, in uh, this format of the game. He scores very quickly. You saw even the other night in South Africa how quickly he got off the mark. So I think if uh, Gambhir gets off to a good start, I think Kolkata Knight Riders, uh, forget that game against Pune Warriors. They will beat a few top teams uh, in this year's IPL. Yeah, it does look like that's going to be your uh, pick team for this tournament, but we'll get to that in just a minute.